Hey everyone, Fina here from Fina Reads. I'm so excited because I just finished a book and I immediately had to sit down to talk with you about this book because I really, really enjoyed it. It was a rather quick read, which is actually surprising because I'm really slow in <laughs> reading at the moment. And it's something different than my usual book reviews. I actually like to read nonfiction every now and then. But just recently I found a new biography of Angela Merkel, which was Germany's chancellor till just recently. And I always wanted to read about her because I just find her fascinating as a person. I mean, she's a woman, the first woman that is leading a big country like this as a chancellor. I definitely wanted to read a biography about her see how she made it, right? How she moved up the career ladder and became Germany's chancellor for 16 years. And I found the biography called The Chancellor written by Katie Martin. And as I said, I just finished it. And I was so moved by the writing of this book. But before I get ahead of myself, let's talk a little bit about it. So Katie Martin did a really great job in summarizing Angela Merkel's life, where she was coming from, where she was born, how she grew up, and when she started to go into politics and then her move up the chain to become chancellor. But the book is really not just about Angela Merkel and why she has been so successful in her career. It is also a great summary of the global history, what happened during the time Angela Merkel was chancellor. And it started with just background information from her past, because in order to understand who she is and why she did certain things the way she did, you had to understand where she was coming from. So she, while she was born in Hamburg, she actually grew up in East Germany during the time where East Germany was behind a wire barb fence and, you know, where West Berlin was behind a wall. Basically East, Ber East Germany being completely separated from the rest of Germany how that was growing up in a communist country, essentially, and what that did to her as a person. Katie Martin goes into, you know, how the world changed after the wall came down, what happened while Angela Merkel was in politics, and not just from a German view or from the view of Angela Merkel, but she included a variety of really interesting tidbits around, you know, just what happened over the last years from the 2008 banking crisis to the Syrian refugees that all m moved to Germany, or the majority of them really, to just recently COVID. So the book just came out a couple of days ago. And so it is a really recent summary of the world happenings. Because of that already, I found it very fascinating because it's a less than 400 page summary of our last 20-ish years, well, plus the very specific focus on East Germany in Angela Merkel's youth. From a storytelling perspective, it was really engaging. She moved you really nicely through the different sections and gave you enough background knowledge that you were able to understand why certain things happened or what made Angela Merkel go into that direction versus the other. So she, she really had a well-researched foundation that she used to tell the story of Angela Merkel and what happened around her in the, in the entire world. That led to such a moving story and Honestly, I don't know if I'm so moved by that story because I am German and I was born in East Germany and the beginning of my life, I experienced that too. I know stories from my mother, from my grandmother, who um, obviously lived there for the majority of their lives. And in general, I know the stories from even broader family, even from the West on what life just was back then. Like my other grandmother grew up in West Berlin and lived in, in West Berlin while West Berlin was surrounded by the wall. So I, I've heard those stories, I grew up with those stories, and I've experienced part of it myself. And I know what it means to grow up in Germany. And Katie Martin nailed it. Like, you know, when I moved to the US, I had a hard time explaining to friends here and to my husband, you know, what are certain things that are just foreign to me now living in the US versus growing up in Germany. And one of those things has always been the the fact of being proud of your country. That's not a thing. I know it's just because I didn't grow up that way. Germany is not a country where you're proud to be German 
Whereas in America, everybody waves their flag, right? Everybody has their flag on their house somewhere or in front of their shops. It's just normal. And when I moved here and actually till today, I still have this feeling of this feels just weird, but it's because the, the way I grew up. And in this book, there are several uh, paragraphs where Katie Martin really explains this. And I, and I thought did a really great job on, you know, not just saying this is what it is, but explaining why we Germans have such a hard time to say we're proud to be German or why you just don't do it. It's not just you're having a hard time. You just don't do it. You say, I love German food or, you know, I love German architecture or stuff like that. But you don't say you're pr a proud German. <laughs> I don't know if that's, it makes any sense. In this biography, it was just so well explained and with with the with the needed background on why we Germans are the, this way, and I thought it was just you know it really moved me, and I really had a moment where I was just sitting there and had to pause and had to really let it settle to to read this and to think about it and just to be reminded of you know this is how I grew up. I mean, in general, this is, this is just one example, but throughout the entire book, there are so many things that are packed in there that just hit right into my heart. Just not in the sense of that I was sitting there crying or anything, but just in the sense of <laughs> this is exactly how it was. This is exactly what I experienced. Or this is what I know my mom or my grandmother experienced. And just from that historical aspect and seeing that story, it was an incredible, incredible read. And then on top of that, you really learned a lot about Angela Merkel as a person, how she became that strong, calm leader of Germany and how she just dealt with men that are historically all posers. I mean, let's face it, when you're in politics, especially when you're that high up, you know, you you have to be a very strong person. You have to have ego, you know, all that kind of stuff. And she was just always the one stepping back, letting those men have their ego, letting them figure their stuff out. And then when they realized, okay, what I did was just not really good, she jumped in, you know, and took over and saved the situation at the end of the day. While I'm not aligned necessarily with the party that she was associated with, it was still incredible to see how she just made her way and 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 ha found the right situations to take her next step and to move on and just be so calm and settle throughout all her life while always understanding what is going on in the world analyzing what is going on in the world and then making the right decision or i mean you could argue if it's the right decision or not but she made a decision based on understanding what is happening based on the data that she received and analyzing what could happen if i do this versus that etc those two aspects of that biography really really i thought were amazing and katie martin just did an amazing job putting that together from a story perspective from a writing style, the book doesn't, I, I don't feel reads like a biography. <laughs> it, it reads like a really well written story. All the chapters are really nicely structured. Because the, of the way she, how she structured her chapters, you sometimes have some repetition of the topics. So sometimes she says something like Angela Merkel did this because of something that happened. And then two, three chapters later, you get a very similar story just based on a different scenario that happened or based on a different historical event. So if I think about pros and cons, I mean, I gave this book five stars. Let's just face it. And I think a lot of that has to do with because I am German and I found so much of myself in this book. Not, you know, just from a I know what she's talking about perspective that more and I can I can align with it you know I have my own memories to some of the things that she was mentioning but even even without that like even just as a general biography if you're interested in learning more about German's former chancellor I think it is still a really well written well researched biography that I highly recommend reading because again, yes, of course, the point of this book is to learn more about Angela Merkel, but you learn so much more and she explains so much more just from the general global happenings at that time. The one thing that I hope though, um, because I actually saw that uh, on NetGalley and I requested an early access copy, which I, and I'm so grateful for that because I'm so excited that I read this book, which I received. So I read an unedited copy. <laughs> 
<laughs> and as a German, of course, I know my German words that were sprinkled in throughout the text, and I found a couple of misspellings here and there. So I hope they fix that in the in the final version. I actually ordered the final version just now because I wanted to have an actual physical copy in hand. So I, I will definitely check if they fix that. If not, Simon & Schuster, ping me. I'm more than happy to help <laughs> with that. That was probably the only thing that, you know, I could put as a con for this book. But then again, I don't know if they fixed it in the final version. But hands down, an amazing biography. Katie Martin is an amazing writer. She really did her research. And it left me with just being impressed with Angela Merkel as a person. Again, no matter where your political alignment is, it is just an impressive story, what she has done in those 16 years, how she has maneuvered the political waters. And I know this has been a long rambling, but I thought I'd share like two or three quotes from the book. So if you've seen Angela Merkel, you know that she is usually in her typical blazers, comfy pants, comfy shoes, not much makeup. I'm, I think that's what she and I have in common. And there was one quote that just says that her rhetoric is as plain as her appearance. <laughs> And throughout the book, I actually didn't know that because I've never listened to many of her speeches, but throughout the book, Katie Martin actually explained that she is not one who uses language to influence people. If you remember, I read that book Cultish a while ago, and that is all about how you use language to influence people and to get people excited and whatnot. And that is something Angela Merkel has never done. So she actually doesn't like it when people do that because she thinks... It is so easy to p manipulate someone when you are very skilled in rhetoric and, 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 you know, using that language. And then another one is also that shows what an analytical mind she was, is I think things through starting at the end from the desired outcome and then I work backward. What matters is what will be achieved in two years, not what we read in the papers tomorrow. And then the other one, and that again matches her that she always takes a step back and lets those people with ego figure things out. That was another quote, and then I'm stopping here. That's all from the prologue, by the way, so I don't want to spoil anything by accidentally saying a quote. <laughs> so all those are from the prologue. So, but the last one is, a woman in power has more urgent business to attend than her ego. Yeah, and that is something I probably will write down somewhere, because I, I found that really inspiring. I'm wrapping it up here. I think I made my opinion very clear on what I think about this book and why I thought it was such a great one. Do you read biographies? Is there is that something that you generally like to read between, you know, bigger fantasy tomes or something? I would love to hear. I'm definitely interested in reading more biographies. I have a couple of others uh, on my nonfiction shelf. But what is a biography that you really enjoyed? I would love to hear. Let me know down in the comments. I, I'd love to know um, because I might have to add those to my TBR going forward. And then don't forget to like and subscribe. So I hope I'll see you soon for my next video. And then till then, have a great rest of your day. Bye!